What's up, YouTube? My name is Cassie, and you are watching Cassie Sews. And if there's one thing you'll learn when you watch my channel is I love getting a bargain. And today's bargain is a little gem that you're going to want to snatch up yourself. With no further ado, let's talk turkey today. Let's talk about the dress. So I'm just going to show you guys, we're going to do a little tour first through the dress and then I'm going to show you the pattern that I got, okay? is guys let's take a quick overview of this beautiful and unique Zimmerman dress one of the key features is the use of fabric in this dress so I'll just address a little bit of that first you can see it has a beautiful floral design that is concentrated at the hem and the cuffs of the dress lifts up and gives way to a ditzy floral type scattered design honestly the use of fabric really does bring texture to this design and set it apart some of the design features of this dress include the button closures down the front. There's many of them together to add texture and detail to the design. This gives way to a soft sloping open V neckline with a finished stand collar. All in all, gives an elegant finish to the look. More features of this beautiful dress include the yoke shoulder top on the dress to which the gathered bodice is attached both front and back. You'll get to see a back view soon. So you can see that the bodice is gathered and then attached to that yoke and then it's also gathered and attached to that fitted waistband. What this accomplishes is it creates a soft ease that makes this easy and comfortable to wear and adds to that summer feel. And the skirt of the dress is also um, very gathered and attached to that fitted waistband as well. So the whole thing is designed so that it looks pulled together, but you're super comfortable because there's ease in all the places that you want the dress to have that ease. And now just a close-up of the sleeve. This is really a key part of the design here, guys. So just take a look. What we have here is a set-in sleeve that has a slight gather on the sleeve cap so that it raises ever so slightly past the shoulder. And then the sleeve is cut so that it gives way to a bishop sleeve at the bottom. This is really a key part of the design, everyone. The way that that sleeve flares out into the bishop and closes around the wrist adds that soft billowy movement in the sleeve that you're looking for that takes what could be a simple basic summer dress and just elevates it to that next level and makes it feel so elegant. And you can really see how the use of the fabric once again with the flowers graduating up, it just brings that texture to this design. I think this just looks so fantastic. And finally, the back of the dress, you can see the design features here as well. This does include the feature of a zipper closure that goes all the way from the neck past the waistline to get in and out of the dress, meaning it's easy and convenient to get in and out of the dress. You're not having to worry about all those tiny little buttons out the front. The back of the dress does feature a curved yoke design that you'll see is slightly different from the Vogue dress and it has that fitted waist and the fabric really shows that summery feel here from this angle as well. And so there it is, an overview of the Zimmerman Carnaby dress. You can see it's clearly designed to be a summer weight dress with a loose, casual summer feel to it. But somehow I find that this design still looks put together between the fitted waist, the finished collar, and those closed bishop sleeves really add to that polished look and feel. However, look at how even in this design, the model is wearing running shoes. So even in this design, it's being displayed as intended just as much for casual everyday wear as it is that you could dress it up to go out for a summer dinner or something like that. 
I do believe I have found online these dresses originally were selling for close to fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars And then the uh, image that I found to share with you guys was from a website showing $965. The dress is reduced and on sale right now. But even in Canadian dollars, this dress was retailing for $965. And the whole point of this video is by the end of the video, I'm going to show you fabric selections I found. We're going to review that pattern and you're going to see how realistically you could make pretty much this identical dress for approximately $100 or even less. And now here's some images of the very same design dress, the Carnaby dress in blue instead of pink. You can see the same um, graduated floral print from the hem and the cuffs of the dress up into a scattered ditzy type floral print. Um, I love the blue and the pink equally. I'm a blue girl. I really love blues, but I think that for the video, the pink one just made great display. But tell me what you think, guys. You can see here um, how the same dress could take on a slightly different mood with the change of the color of the fabric. What's your personal favorite? Are you a pink and purple type of person? Do you like blues or do you like the warm tones? Do you like the oranges and the greens and the browns? Let me know what you think. Put something in the comments below. And now this part, I was so happy I could get a picture like this to share with you guys. This super, super close up image of the dress. So you can see that itty bitty, teeny tiny floral print pattern. My gosh, this fabric, I'm in love. I really wish I could find this exact fabric, but I can't. But anyways, the point here is I wanted you to see what they've done with the buttons. In sewing and in quilting, there's this thing we call fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is when you cut out something over the exact image that you want from the print of the fabric so that that's displayed centered in whatever you cut out. You can see here that they fussy cut all the covered buttons so that on the center of each button dome when it's covered, you're getting a flower in the middle. And look at, guys, this is what you get when you pay designer prices is some of these fine finishing points you're not going to find in average price clothing. However, this is what's so amazing about sewing at home is we can bring that level of finishing on our kind of budget and that just gets me so stoked inside. So anyways, there it is, the covered buttons. And now I want to share with you a fabric that I have sourced for this dress. So you can see the original Zimmerman dress design on the left, right? And you see the really fine floral print that graduates up with the more white background, ditzy floral type scattered print, right? Awesome. So I have been looking, guys, online for weeks now, and it is not an easy type of fabric to find. You can find border print fabrics, but a lot of them, the floral design is actually really large. Like, I mean, the flowers are two to three inches in size diameter each, right? So it's too big, really, for what we're trying to do with this dress. But then I found this fabric and this supplier on Amazon. The exciting thing about this is that, guys, I think any of us, that wants that fabric can go on to Amazon and order it because the supplier that I found seems to be one of those digital print fabrics where you can pick the type of fabric, whether you want like silk or cotton or rayon or whatever, and then you pick the floral print that you want. You actually choose the design first and then you specify the fabric. But um, basically they can churn out, um, you know, made to order. So I could go online and order four meters of this and then you could go online and order four meters and have every reason to believe there's going to be enough there for everybody right so that is really really cool you can see that the fabric that I found um, does have a fairly small fine floral print design it's in those light summery feeling um, you know and it goes from a condensed floral then it does scatter up which is what we want for this dress so honestly, guys, I think that this fabric is going to work really great. You can get it in a cotton cambric online. I'll put a link down below. I do have an Amazon store. And if you're willing to make that purchase by clicking on my link first, you will help my channel and I may get a small kickback for that. Um, details will be below. But anyways, I have taken the work out of this. To be fair, guys, I must say 
I've not ordered from the supplier yet. So just buyer beware. If you're opting to try this, I do plan to order this fabric. I'm going to give this supplier a go. But just as a heads up, full transparency here, I have not tested the vendor. I have not purchased the fabric yet. But if you look at all the stuff online that they display about their fabric, I do have every good reason to believe the cotton cambric fabric in that print will be spot on for this dress. And it is about $20 a meter. So not an amazing sale. I'm going to talk a little later in the video about holding out for a sale. However, we're looking for a really specific fabric for this dress. Sometimes it's worth just spending the extra few dollars. So if you opt to buy this, at least the guesswork's taken out of it. I've been able to source a fabric for everybody so that you can get the pattern, get the fabric, and you can have this Zimmerman dress too. All right. All right. So we've seen the Zimmerman dress in all its glory, and it is really lovely, isn't it? So now I cannot wait to share with you the pattern dupe that I found that is almost identical to this dress. I'm just gonna show it to you here and then we're gonna do some close-ups of everything side by side. So here it is. This is by Vogue Patterns themselves. It's V1934 and um, we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna show you these images up close so you can see more the front and back views and just how much this dress design is like the Zimmerman Carnaby dress. All right, let's dig in here. We're going to look at these two designs and see what is similar and what is different. So you can see the Zimmerman dress is on the left and the Vogue dress is on the right. You can see from first glance, the dresses look basically identical, save for the use of the flowers on the fabric. Both have that concentrated floral design at the hem and the cuffs going up into the ivory white background with the whitest parts highlighted at the waistband and the shoulder yoke and collar stand. And of course on the Zimmerman dress, it just keeps going lighter all the way up to the top. And a closer look at some of the design similarities and differences in this dress. This pattern is so almost identical to the Zimmerman dress. It's really pretty exciting. So you can see here the features of the dress that they do basically have the same stand collar, both Vogue and Zimmerman, same soft V neckline, same buttons down the front. The Zimmerman dress has 15 buttons closing down the front. The Vogue dress has 17 buttons closing down the front. But you do actually need 21 buttons for the Vogue design because there is a design difference between the Zimmerman dress and the Vogue dress, and that's in the sleeve finish. The Zimmerman dress simply has the bishop sleeve finished with an elasticized wristband, whereas the Vogue dress actually has a small cuff sewn onto the dress, and it does have buttons closing it. There's two buttons per side. This is where you get your 21 buttons. But really, guys, if you look at this, both dresses are mini skirt length, um, the Vogue one is ever so slightly longer and in, if you're in your 50s like I am, I'll take the slightly longer length. It works for me better, but you can see they both have the gathered skirt, the fitted waist, the loose gathered bodice, the fitted um, shoulder yoke, v-neck, stand collar, and then those fit in bishop sleeves with the slight gathered sleeve cap at the top and the bishop puff at the bottom. Really visually, guys, they look almost the same from the front with the only exception being how those cuffs finish. And once again, the similarities and differences of these patterns on the back. And again, guys, you're going to see that they really are almost identical. Both dresses feature the stand collar at the back with a zipper closure that goes from the neck all the way down the back past that fitted waistline into the skirt area for ease of getting in and out of the dress. You can see that the dresses both follow that graduated floral design. The Vogue pattern does use the graduated floral design on the bodice part as well. Who knows, maybe there's a copyright issue. They had to do some things different, right? But if you look at it very carefully, you can see that same invisible zipper running all the way down the center through the neck, the yoke, the bodice, the fitted waistline, and the dress. The difference that you really can see here in the two dresses is the Zimmerman on the left 
the yoke is curved. Do you see that curved design up there um, towards the shoulder area of it? Whereas the Vogue design, it really does go straight across. Now, for those of you who are purists, you could redraft the pattern to make it identical to the back yoke on the Zimmerman dress. And I got to admit that curved back yoke really adds such a beautiful, soft, feminine feel to it. But I got to be honest, guys, I'm going to sew the Vogue pattern as is. I'm not going to try and do that correction. But on both dresses, you can see the sleeve, the cuff, everything is for all intents and purposes the same with the exception of that back yoke. And finally, I wanted to show you what we call view B of the Vogue design. So it's basically the same dress on the front, back, waistband, um, yoke and collar. The difference between the two dresses is the skirt is longer on view B and you have those almost elbow length short puffed sleeves on this dress. You can really see the features of the cotton poplin in here really make this design pop. It looks so classy. I also wanted to just share for you, for those of you who really do enjoy sewing, these line drawings are super useful. It does allow us to see the design of the dress um, without the confusion of any fabric throwing us off. So you can really study that design and decide if that's something that you think you'd like to wear. And then you can really study the fabrics that you're gonna put with it as well and decide if that will work with that design. And just another glance here, guys. There's that Vogue design in the middle and then the Zimmerman dresses on the left and right in blue and pink. And you can see it really is so beautiful and almost identical. I don't think you could find a purchase sewing pattern more similar to a designer dress than what we found in this today. So the recommended fabrics for this dress are double border prints, which would come in a cotton or a lawn type fabric. This also suggests using poplin, sateen and linen blends and in addition to that for notions you need some lightweight feasible facing and you're going to need some buttons for it and if you're doing covered buttons then you would need enough fabric and the covered buttons in the kit to make covered buttons for the dress all according to what you would like okay and so now just a word about the price on the dress. Remember I was showing in the, the clip like $965 dress you can make for under $100. Where's that logic coming from? Okay, well, this pattern retails at the suggested retail price of $35 USA, okay? I paid the sale price for it. I, I paid under $10 for this pattern. I don't remember the exact price is currently on the Simplicity sale at the time this video is being published for $6.99. So it's on sale. So here's the technique, guys. First of all, buy your patterns on sale. The only time you should ever, ever buy a pattern 100% full price is if you have an event coming up that you need that design, like your heart is set on that design, um, or something that's like, for example, maybe a discontinued design, then pay full price. Otherwise, I'm going to recommend you get your pattern on sale. Now, the other way that you can save money here is nowadays a lot of fabrics will be like 20 to $30 a meter, right? Like it can get pricey fast because to make this dress, so for example, I'm a size 12 in a sewing pattern and I would need three and three eighths a meter to make this view here, view A right so if you're spending thirty dollars a meter you're gonna be close to a hundred dollars just in the fabric but here again you know that i love a bargain and here's the deal is just hold out guys shop around find some fabric on sale for twenty dollars a meter or less get your pattern and your notions and everything watch for sales and i kid you not guys not only could you make this dress for $100 or less, you could probably make it for more like $60 to $70 for everything. The notions, the pattern, the fabric, just hold out and watch for a sale and you can have this amazing dress at the kind of price you wanna to pay too. So I just wanna say as well, 
that um, I do have a link down below. You could go to simplicity.com and buy this. Or if you just want to buy something off of Amazon because you don't want to pay the shipping from a different company, I did find a dress design on Amazon that is almost identical to this pattern. It's really close anyways. It's not completely identical, but it's pretty darn close. So I'm putting that in the link down below as well. Just a quick word about my Amazon store. Um, if you were to purchase anything from my Amazon store or you even click on the link to a product down below and then you end up buying something else off of Amazon in the next, it's either one or two hours of your search time on Amazon, I would get a credit to that in my store, which would help my YouTube channel grow. Any support you guys can bring to help my channel grow would be so greatly appreciated. See the links down below. I'm going to have lots of different things suggested for you, but I'll include this pattern link as well as the similar one for Amazon. And if I haven't already said, thank you in advance for that support. it is everyone the Zimmerman Carnaby dress review and its pattern dupe which I think is so almost identical this thing is so fantastic and perfect I can hardly wait to get into this pattern and sew it thanks again guys for watching I really appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you next time with your needle and thread at Cassie sews bye guys